conversation with Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar and speaking to India Today's Akshita Nandagopal, what he had to say about this north-south financial divide. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Sidramaya and Mr. D.K. Shivkumar, the duo who is uh, running the Karnataka economy to the ground, uh, are uh, playing an interesting game, but a game that the people of Karnataka and all Kannadigas uh, have, uh, uh, know very well of what this is about. This is a, a, a duo that came to government in Karnataka and I predicted then that they would uh, soon uh, trash the Karnataka economy and come crying to the center for a bailout and th this is exactly what is happening. They have in a sense ruined the Karnataka economy. They have uh, now to distract the people of Karnataka from the fact that they cannot fulfill their guarantees on the basis of which they came to power in Karnataka, that they, they gained the electoral success in Karnataka. They are certainly creating this new narrative uh, to try and distract people away. What they are not saying today, and there is a legitimate ground to protest, mm -hmm. is the unprecedented corruption among, and the evidence is there for people to see the amount of money that is being seized from contractors who were close to them, the amount of uh, uh, farmers that are today being forced to commit suicide, the power tariffs for farmers and the lack of availability for power for farmers, and the general sense that there is no development in the state, admittedly by the deputy chief minister himself, that there is no way that the state can have, have any development. Time, so I think it is to distract all away from all this. Yeah. To distract away from all this that uh, uh, Mr. Sidramaya has brought this circus into uh, Delhi. Let me also give you some numbers. You're blaming it on freebie politics, sir. But here's what the chief minister says. He says that Karnataka's share in central taxes... I'm not taxes blaming... No, no, no. I'm not blaming... No, no. Once again. Akshada. Yeah. Akshada, I'm not blaming it on any freebie politics. Okay. I never use that phrase. So uh, I, I'm saying very clearly what I said, that they have essentially run the economy to the ground. Mm. They have uh, let loose a f corruption culture that is unprecedented in the history of Karnataka. Okay. And they're obviously f feeding the money to these contractors. So there is no money for development. So obviously he has to make this, this uh, sort of a circus of saying that he has to blame somebody for the lack of development. So political war of words on one side. What does the data, the statistics say? Let me take you through the numbers now, what we have. Take a look at this. The tax share of the states is Uttar Pradesh getting the highest for 17.93%, followed by Bihar at 10.05%, Madhya Pradesh 7.8%, Karnataka, which is currently in the whole center of controversy, gets about 3.64%, Kerala 1.92%, Tamil Nadu 4.07%. Now, one of the reasons that Uttar Pradesh also gets a high share, one, is because of the large state in terms of geographical area, but also the population of Uttar Pradesh, and that's one of the reasons possibly that the 17.93 share it gets. But here you can see, because of this single digit of Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala getting the lowest at 1.92, that is why these states have united and said this is deliberate targeting against southern states that is being done. Let me bring you some more numbers here on specifically the tax share, financial assistance being given and our southern states deliberately being denied of their fair share. Now, how much do the states get? So for every 100 rupees, that is what Karnataka uh, government also had mentioned, for every 100 rupees as tax, Karnataka gets about 13.9%. Tamil Nadu gets about 29.7, which is fairly higher than Karnataka. And Kerala gets 63.4 for every 100 rupees as tax. Now, Bihar gets 922. Uttar Pradesh gets 333, Madhya Pradesh gets 279, which is, of course, in triple digits, a more whopping number. And this is what Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu are saying, that for every 100 rupees as tax, revenue return that comes to us is so low that it is unacceptable. It cannot be accepted in a democracy country like this. And that is why the protest against the government at the center on this. So we'll be tracking this big news coming in of what happens and unfolds in the, the national capital with regard to the protest.